Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. In this class, we are really talking about the very basics of programming things. In this class, we will discuss what and why programming things are. And topics for this class are What is programming? What is a programming language? Generations of programming language? Types of programming language? So first let us discuss what is programming. In simple words, programming is a task of software development. So it's a task of software development. We all uh, use softwares, right? Word processing softwares, accounting, graphical, animation softwares. Some on desktops and some softwares on internet. So before these softwares are ready for the use, they need to be programmed. That is, writing the code, what a program should do when there is an input. So programming also means coding the software. While programming, we have choices of programming languages like C, C++, Java to write programs depending on the purpose, complexity and application area. There are plenty of programming languages out there in the world like C, C++, Java, C Sharp, Perl, Ruby and many more. And we are going to choose them depending on our requirements because every programming language has its own grammar and syntax. So what's a program then? A program written in any language is a series or set of instructions which are also known as commands that the computer's operating system executes to give the particular result or output. Yes, a series of instructions make up a program. For example, when you click on the save icon on any program, on any software, there should be a program behind to achieve your command, right? So what is a programming language? People need language like English, Hindi to communicate among them. Similarly, to communicate with computers, we need a programming language. We write a program to achieve a result. For every operation, there should be a program behind to achieve the operation. Now let us discuss the generations of programming languages. Based on the increasing power of programming styles and ease of using the languages, experts have classified programming languages into these five generations. So these are the five different generations of uh, programming languages. Now let us look at each of them. First generation of language, it has only one language that is machine language. Machine language is also known as binary code. In first generation of language, programmers had to use machine language because no other option was available for them. Machine level language have the advantage of very fast execution speeds and efficient use of primary memory. Use of machine language is very tedious and difficult and time consuming uh, method of programming because machine language is also known as low level language. Since the programmers must specify every detail of an operation, a low level language like binary language uh, requires that the programmer have the detailed knowledge of how computer works. And remember, machine language or the binary language is the only language that the computer can understand uh, directly without any translation. Next comes the second generation, which includes assembly languages. The first step in making software development easier and more efficient was the creation of assembly languages. They are also classified as low level languages. So remember first and second generation languages are low level languages. The other three are high level languages. So remember this point. Because detailed knowledge of hardware still required here and they were developed in 1950s. Assembly language uses mnemonic codes and symbolic addresses in place of zeros and ones. As you can see on the screen, they are just alphabetical abbreviations for different operations like read, write, load, and pack and etc. And the programs written in assembly language uh, must be translated into machine language before they can be used by the computers. The translator is called as assembler. So remember, an assembler is required to convert the programs written in assembly languages to machine language. So this is a very important point. Then begins the third generation and the languages invented in this generation are called as high level languages because the programs 
consists of english like statements and mathematical expressions because of this reason they are very programmer friendly and are designed to run on a number of different computers with few or no changes at all in the fourth generation many object oriented and database languages were invented to solve a wide variety of problems some languages are non procedural because they allow programmers and users to specify what the computer is supposed to do without having to specify how the computer is supposed to do it the main objectives of third and fourth generation languages are to increase the speed of developing programs and to minimize the user efforts to obtain information from computers fifth generation languages are very recent developments and they are natural languages whose text of statements are very closely resembles human speech these languages are also designed to make the computer smarter the use of natural language touches on expert systems computerized collection of the knowledge of many human experts in a given field and artificial intelligence and independently a smart computer systems so this is a brief discussion on uh, different generations in the later classes we will be learning more about c programs and what they consist of and every other details that a c program includes well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on youtube like our page on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin Thank you